Sony Group is an engineering machinery manufacturer who ranks first in China's and fifth in global. It started its globalization plan in 2002, and the products have been sold to more than 120 countries and regions in the world. Besides, it has set up offices and spare parts warehouse in more than 80 overseas areas and production bases in the United States, India, Germany, and Brazil. Sani Mobile Green is a core business division of Sani Group, mainly engaged in the development, manufacture, and sales of truck, crawler, and tower crane products. This video introduces the operation maintenance of SAC 2200, which is designed to guide operators to use and maintain the equipment correctly so as to ensure the safety of personnel and improve the integrity rate of equipment. The SEC 2200 All-Terrain Green has excellent performance. The design of the model is eye-catching. The whole modeling is grand, shows a sense of nobility. The red star coating is internationally appealing. Excellent chassis. The turn diameter is only 20 meters, which is flexible. The driving force is strong. The maximum speed is 81 kilometers per hour, which ranks the first in industry. Climbing gradient reaches 58%, which ranks first in the industry. Strong, super long, precise, and sensitive lifting performance. The main boom length is 62 meters. Flying jet is 43 meters with a total length of 105 meters. The lifting height is 103.5 meters and the operating radius can reach to 86 meters. The design of the main boom is optimized. The bending modulus increases by 15%. The lifting capacity is strong. The maximum lifting torque of the basic arm reaches 7,271 kN Based on the calculation system of the torque limiter of the lifting gravity model, the rated hoisting precision reached plus or minus 3%, exceeding the national standard of 5% or minus 5%. Take the technology of hydraulic luffing jib. Make the luffing jib changed to any offset angle between 0 to 40 degrees. It raises the working range of luffing jib and meet the customer's request for various working conditions. Safe, stable, advanced, and intelligent electronic control system. Based on the virtual reality 3D simulation, the simulation shows the hoisting process and hoisting parameters. By means of support force detection and body level detection, calculating and checking the stability of the whole vehicle in real time. With comprehensive fault diagnosis function, which can diagnose 300 main faults in the chassis, electric, hydraulic, etc. Efficient, energy-saving, reliable, original hydraulic system. Double pumps supply confluent oil and become spare system each other. The hoisting speed of wire rope is 130 meters per minute. The raising time of boom is 60 seconds. The lowering time of boom is 19 seconds. The telescoping time of boom is 550 seconds. This working efficiency leads in the mobile crane industry. Precautions before operating. It is necessary to check the ground strength and carrying capacity before operating crane. Operators must wear a gloves, helmet, goggles, safety shoes, and protective suit when operating or maintaining the machine. The main hook is fixed, and the main boom and outrigger are retracted. Check fuel pipe of the oil and water separator of the engine to ensure that it is no cracked and leaking oil. Check whether the steering tube is damaged or leaking oil. Check the lubrication condition of the drive shaft and check whether the connecting flange is secure and check whether the oil cylinder is leaking oil. Check the air reservoir and air pipe of the braking system, whether the pipeline breaks or the air reservoir gets loose.
open the operation box of two outriggers of the crane to ensure the emergency stop switch is reset. Otherwise, the engine will not be started. Check the swing block pin of the turntable. Make sure the pin is locked when traveling. Check the condition of the light, steering lamp, and the windshield wiper when entering the cab. Check whether the instrument panel gets a warning light illuminated. If there is any, it is necessary to find the cause of the trouble and deal with it. Step on the pedal. Check the press range of the pedal. If the press range is improper, adjust is needed. Introduction of cap function. Turn on the power supply before work. The cab is designed according to ergonomic principles and has a wide view. On both sides of the steering wheel are the multi-purpose switch. This is the left multi-purpose switch, which controls the switch of the light and left turning signals, the outline light and the working light and a switch of headlight on low or high beam. This is the right multi-purpose switch to controlling and gear shifting of the wiper. The parking brake lever is used to park the vehicle after the vehicle stops. This is a brake pedal, which is double-looped pneumatic brake and used for deceleration of the vehicle. On the right side is accelerate pedal. This is a control panel of steering suspension mode. This is the radio, the suspension cylinder working pressure gauge, and this is a gear mode switch and the gear selection lever. This is a cabin electric control box, the retarder controller, the flame preheating controller, the engine ECU, the gearbox controller, and the gear showing screen. The seat can be adjusted back and forth. This is a function control switch, differential lock switch, transfer case switch, creeping control switches, retarder switch, superstructure power supply control switch, outrigger panel power supply control switch, warning light switches, fog lamp switch, horn switch. This is a cigar lighter, an air conditioning control panel, which controls the speech of air conditioning wind speed, wind direction, and other settings. The air conditioning heater switch is equipped with under driving cabin. Before starting the engine, all the warping switches should be restored to the non-working state and a shift lever is placed in the neutral position. Then, insert the key into the key switch and rotate it on. The screen starts to light up. If there's any warning signs, the reason should be cleared. This is the oil pressure value. Normal value, 3 to 5 bar. The transmission pressure value of the gearbox, which is the pressure value of the front and rear brake air reservoir. The rated work pressure is 0.85 MPa. This is the alternator voltage. Normal operating voltage is higher than 24 V. This is engine water temperature, working hours, speedometer, gear, total mileage. This is a reverse camera module and warning light button. Turn the ignition switch to start gear and release it immediately when the engine starts. If the engine fails to start after 15 seconds, stop and waiting for at least one minute before attempting another start. Stop igniting and find out reason when continue three times filler ignition. After starting the engine, tap the accelerate paddle to keep the engine idle speed for a while. This is a panel control button. This is a steering mode control button area. This is a suspension mode control button area. This is a differential lock button. This is auxiliary function button. Steering operation. Highway, mainly used for road or high speed driving.
full well coordinated mode for rotating a narrow field to obtain the minimum turning radius and a maximum speed can only reach 20 km per hour. Full well crabbing mode wall clack crab to conduct lateral movement of vehicles and the top speed can only reach 20 km per hour. Unbiased swing for a narrow field with obstacles in the rear and the speed limit can only reach 20 km per hour. Independent rear axle steering. The rear three shafts are turned to adapt to the snake shaped road. Pressing the bottom one time, the rear three axle steering one degree accordingly and the top speed can only reach 20 km per hour. Rear axle lock steering. The first two axle steering, which is used to solve the case of steering failure, and the top speed can only reach 20 km per hour. Suspension operation. Automatic leveling. Automatically adjust the suspension to the intermediate position with convenient and fast operation. Suspension lock, used for working with outriggers or driving with heavy load. Single point lift, used when there is unilateral obstruction. Raising the crane and avoiding obstacles. Three or four, patterns for snow driving. Lift up and down. The hoisting or declining of the vehicle to any position required. Road driving. Before starting to move the truck, you need to start the engine. Steering mode should be switched to the road driving mode. Suspension mode should be turned to the middle position with using the auto leveling mode and release the parking brake. Shift into driving gear. Release the braking paddle slowly and step on the accelerate paddle lightly and you can start to move the truck. The SEC 2200 uses automatic transmission of ZF with 12 forward gears and 2 reverse gears. The retarder braking button is on the retarder lever, which is on the right side of seat. Press the retarder button while wrenching the lever to the backward. Shift the retarder joystick to B gear, the retarder automatic gear. Shift the retarder joystick to the first, second, 3rd, 4th, 5th gear, the braking pressure will be increased gradually. Exhaust braking valve will be controlled automatically according to the driving condition of the different gears of retarder. You can only use the retarder to slow down in the downhill driving. If the retarder deceleration ability is not enough, you must step foot brake paddle and shift to the lower gear to decelerate the speed of the vehicle. Push the lever to the front while closing retarder switch. Push down the parking brake lever. Outrigger operation. Entering the cab to turn on the power control switch. Inspect the front left outrigger. Firstly, inspect the hydraulic lock, the extending, retracting wire rope of outrigger and relevant oil pipe to make sure there's no damage. Loose oil leakage. Inspect the electromagnetic valve to make sure the plug is reliably and there's no oil leakage. Fix outer rigger plate to the working position with outer rigger pin reliably.
go around the machine in a circle to inspect another three outriggers by the same way. The function of outrigger panel button include the extending or retracting of all outrigger jacks, the extending or retracting of all outrigger beams, engine running, automatically leveling all outrigger cylinders up or down, activation switch, press activation switch to make the engine speed down before operating the outriggers, outrigger operation. Press extending button of outrigger beam. The outrigger beam will be extending. The one side panel can only control the extending of outrigger beam at the same side. Press extending button of outrigger jack. The vertical outrigger will be extending. And one side panel can control the another side vertical outrigger working. The crane will be in the horizontality as long as the central level light on. After leveled, the power control button and the panel cover should be closed, and then you can operate the superstructure. The introduction of cap function. After you climb the top of the superstructure ladder, Open the main power switch of superstructure firstly, and then go into the cabin. Mounting the high strength tempered glass can provide good light transmission, beautiful interior decoration, and low noise. This is slewing braking paddle, which is used for slewing braking in automatic slewing condition. It will not be work in the normal slewing condition. This is accelerator paddle. When engine alarm yellow light is on, it should be stop to inspect engine. When the stop alarm light is on, it should be stop the engine immediately. Oil pressure alarm lamp, emergency lamp. Battery voltage alarm lamp, preheating warning lamp, coolant alarm lamp, water temperature warning lamp. This is ignition key switch and cigarette lighter. This is power control button, counterweight switch, swing lock pin control switch, overhaul switch, cylinder pin and boom pin shifting switch, auxiliary hoisting and telescoping shifting switch. Muting switch, main boo luffing and jib luffing shifting switch, electric control box of cabin, electric distribution box, preheating module of engine, engine controller. Seat can be adjustable. Right pilot joystick control the lifting of main hook, the luffing of main boom, which the left the function button on it. Control the automatic, and right one control the switch between high speed and low speed. Left pilot joystick control the telescoping of boom and swing, which the left button control the constant speed of engine, and right one is control the horn. Enable button. All these operation can be work only by press this button while operating the joystick. The first page. Is condition selection after power on. Select the main boom condition, jib condition, and extension boom condition. Select the length of jib in the jib condition. Select the angle of jib. Select the span of outrigger in the different telescoping condition among the full extension, half extension, and full retraction. Select the ratio of hook. Select the counterweight. Go to the main page of display. Press F1. It will be back to the page of working condition setting. Press F2. It will go to the telescoping combination page. Press F3. It will go to the page of speed setting and automatic lubricating. Press F4. 
it will go to the page of setting and display for Outrigger supporting force. Press F5. It will go to the help page to check the load moment limiter information. Press F6. It will go to the monitor page to check the information of switch valve and propulsion valve. Press F7. It will go to the page of password input. F8 is a noise elimination button. The introduction of superstructure operation. Turn on the button of power control and turn the key switch to the starting gear. Pull the lock pin of swing. Extend the foot paddle. Superstructure cap will be tilted. Luffing operation. Pull the rod right joystick to the left. The boom will be up. Which luffing speed will be controlled by just the angle of joystick and throttle. And put the rod right joystick to the right. The boom will be down. Swing operation. Put the left joystick to the right. Turntable will be turned right. Put the left joystick to the left. Turntable will be turned left. Jeep mounting. Extend the outrigger of crane and adjust the leveling. Install the counterweight. Swing the turntable to rear side of frame and make the boom fall down. Using another crane to lift extending main boom to the top of main boom. Let the mounting hole of main extension boom fit into the mounting seat of main boom head. Insert the, the pin. It refers to the same way to mounting left jabs. Mounting auxiliary hook. Mounting the wire harness of jib box and wind velocity indicator. Lifting main boom slowly and keep jib in the working condition. Hoisting operation. Main hoisting operation. Push the right joystick to the forward. The main hook will be down. Pull the right joystick to the backward. The main hook will be up. Auxiliary hoisting operation. Push the telescoping switch of auxiliary hoisting. Push the left joystick to the forward. The auxiliary hook will be down. Pull the left joystick to the backward. The auxiliary hook will be up. Luffing switch of main boom and jib. Jib luffing operation can just different complicated working condition. The angle could change from 0 degree to 40 degrees. The operation of construction working condition. The main page of superstructure display is divided to the information display area of condition and alarm and the working status display area of crane. The selection area of function button. The function button of the display have different meaning and function in the different procedural page. The lifting moment percentage of crane. When screen, it means normal. When it's yellow, it means the lifting moment percentage is between 90% and 100%. When it's red, it means overload. Current date and time. Working situation code which composed by four numbers and including fly jib, counterweight, jib pin situation, etc. The display of main boom, the display of main tail angle and working range, boom head angle and lifting height, winch low speed and high speed, now free swing condition, the display of wind velocity and maximum limited wind velocity, the display of jib pitch angle. The display of swing angle and swing speed. The display of main hoisting working condition. The display of auxiliary hoisting working condition. Left lever. Right lever. 
The display of horizontal inclination. The display of outrigger force and outrigger span. The display of engine speed, working time, and a percentage of fuel quantity. The display of rated lifting capacity. The display of actual lifting capacity. The display of counterweight and a ratio of wire rope. We take the full extended boom and the longest jib condition as an example to show you. Push F1 to go to the condition selection page. Push F1 to select number 3 TVK, the number in the pop-up chart. Push F2 to select 43 meters, the longest jib in the pop-up chart. Push F3 to select the angle of jib. The default angle is zero and we do not make changes. Press F4 to select the span of outrigger. The crane have three conditions, full extension, half extension, and full retraction. We select full extension. Push F5 to select the capacity of hook, and select single rate. Push F6 to select the counterweight. Select the full counterweight in the pop-up chart. Push F8 to select the main page. After the setting of condition, push F2 to select the way of telescoping. Select the full extension. Push F7 to go to the page of telescoping to select the way of telescoping. The telescoping page offer auto and menu telescoping. Push F1 again. Then we select automatic mode. Push F7 to confirm the setting. Push the left joystick to the forward. Is extending boom. Pose the left joystick to the backward is retracting boom. The operator steps of stopping the crane. Make the main boom luffing down to the boom support and fix the main hook to the support hole the welding in front of the driver's cap. Fix the turnable lock pin. Shutting off the superstructure engine. Take out the key. Cut off power switch and reset other switch to the original position. Close the door of cap and lock it. Retract the outrigger. Reset all switches of cap to the open position. Stop the engine of chassis. Daily maintenance. Money drew of chassis maintenance. Chassis maintenance is carried out according to certain rules. First check rule. 1,500 kilometers. The mileage law of routine check. 5,000 kilometers first check, each additional 10,000 kilometers. The mileage law of primary maintenance. 10,000 kilometers first check, every additional 20,000 kilometers. The mileage law of second level inspection. The first inspection of 20,000 kilometers, each additional 40,000 kilometers. Check whether there's any serious scratch on the surface of the tire. Check whether the wheel nut is loose. And press the air pressure to inflate. The air pressure should be maintained at 1 MPa. And the air valve cover should be maintained. Check the engine oil and water separator fuel pipe to ensure that no oil leakage. Open the valve at the bottom of the oil and water separator and release the water inside. 
check whether the hydraulic hose is broken and the connection joint has no loose leakage. Check whether the wiring in the cabinet is loose. Open the release valve of the brake air brake air reservoir and release the internal water. Check the outer part of the bridge to connect the bolt and nut and test and reinforce when necessary. Special attention should be given to the specified torques. Add grease to the underside suspension cylinder articulated place. Check the lubrication of the driving shaft and connecting part. Check whether the steering machine is leaking oil. Check the lubrication of the cross section and telescopic joint of the main shaft. Shake the engine hose to check whether it is loose or not. Check engine oil level to ensure the oil level is in the middle position. If the oil is insufficient, the oil should be filled in time. Replacing the air filter core if the observation port sign changed from green to red. Check the coolant to ensure that the coolant is in a reasonable position on the scale. Check the cylinder pipe for loose and oxidation. Check the hydraulic oil level to ensure that oil is in a reasonable position on the scale when all cylinders are retracted. Check in the same method and replace engine oil. Check coolant level. Check whether the power head is loose and oxidized. The working time can be set on the display screen. With concentrated lubrication and concentrated lubrication. First level maintenance. First level maintenance mainly includes replacing oil, oil filter, fuel filter, and air filter. Including the whole project of daily maintenance. The fuel filter, oil filter, and motor oil of the engine should be replaced. The air filter core should be checked and replaced. Superstructure maintenance, vice versa. Oil and water separator filter core needs to be replaced. Second level maintenance. Check and adjust is a key point. Maintain the whole project according to the first level maintenance. Replace gear oil in wheel side speed reducer. Replace a gear oil of first axle, second axle, separate box. Fourth axle and fifth axle. Oil fuel hole of first axle. Oil drain hole of first axle. Oil fuel hole of second axle. Oil drain hole of second axle. Oil fuel hole of fourth axle. Oil drain hole of fourth axle. Oil fuel hole of fifth axle. Oil drain hole of fifth axle. Check and adjust the front axle toe in. Check the hydraulic cylinder, balancing valve, accumulator, rail lift motor, etc. Check and replace gear oil of rotary reducer and row wrench reducer. Third level maintenance. Third level maintenance of the crane is also needed. For details of tertiary maintenance, please refer to the product operation maintenance menu and contact Sandy Services Department or engine manufacturer.
If you encounter any problems during the operation and maintenance of the crane, do not hesitate to contact the service department of Sani Mobile Crane. Thank you for using the products of Sani Mobile Crane. We're always ready to provide you quality service.